Okay, so it's been about a week. Um, I got the plane, moved into the garage, as you could see. Um, pretty sweet. We got the tail cone section. Um, one fuel tank has been Clicoed. That's about it. One wing has been pretty much dimpled, framed up, Clicoed. I got these awesome wing stands that came with it from the gentleman. The other wing has been a little more completed and riveted. Uh, horizontal stabilizer along with uh, elevator and trim tabs. And then the vertical stabilizer and the rudder are in the house. Still trying to find permanent locations for things, but honestly, it's been too much work this last week to film anything since delivering or getting this stuff to the house. Still very overwhelmed, and to be honest with you, still sort of questioning whether this was the right decision or not. I'm just trying to really take it slow and get into it and start working on the plane, and I'll see how I feel about it. Um, I'm just, I just want to be very honest with people. You know, I kind of in my head did some math to get to a final number, and I know about what it's going to cost to build it, but I kind of was able to do the math in my head and figure out how to get there in the next four or five years. And then just as it all started showing up and as it started becoming real and as I started seeing how much room it takes, um, you know, I'm still questioning, should I just stick with the 182 for the next few years? Which is gonna be a few years till I finish this anyways, but you know, is there better use of money, better use of time in my business, growing my business, investing for my family's future, my kid's future? The 182 is a very capable plane, so. As of right now, we had a great meeting with the partners of the 182 today. We're voting on some avionics upgrades and I was very happy that the group looks like we're gonna move forward with a full Dynon panel certified. The autopilot is not yet certified at the time of filming this, but there's 182 or two 182s, I think, that are being built out or are built with the Dynon autopilot that are going through the FAA certification checklist and getting certified. So. Either way, um, if the group decides to do that, it would be about six months until we had the install anyway, so they should have the STC by then. But I just wanted to quickly kind of, you guys saw the garage now. I got, I got the compressor rigged up with this um, pressure gauge filter water separator from Amazon. So far, so good. It was like 24 bucks. I'll put the link in for it. I, the only mistake I made is I ordered it with uh, 3 eighths inch rather than quarter inch, uh, even though this is three eighths, I guess I, it, either way I stepped down because even though this is quarter in, or three eighths inch, it's still quarter inch NFT fittings. And I think I could have ordered this with quarter inch NFT fittings, no big deal. I just had to go to Harbor Freight and get a uh, reducer. And then I set it up in a way where we are um, female here and male here so if something were to happen to this i could just bypass i could just go male from here to female to here which is how that's normally set up i mean i could also just go direct male to right here but i just figured i would set it up that way and that's uh that's the garage so i'm gonna get to building right now i'm set up with my light and my camera and i'm gonna get to building the toolbox maybe i'm doing this wrong maybe not i've got this massive instruction manual from vans uh, that came with the practice kit and it's like the instructions for the instructions it tells you a lot of what you need to know i think i've flipped through it, but i haven't read it in detail it tells you how to rivet what tools to use how to use the tools what their suggestions are but i've been watching a lot of videos and what i think i'm going to do because i learn better when i have some knowledge is i'm going to make an attempt at building the toolbox with just these very simple instructions right here and then from what I've learned in building the toolbox, then I'm gonna read through that and I think things will make some more sense for me, maybe mistakes I made or things I could have done different. And then from what everyone said, drill out the toolbox, drill out every rivet because you gotta practice drilling, build the toolbox again and you'll be so much better at it. And then at that point, I will have built the toolbox twice, been through the instructions and then I'll work on the practice kit, which is like a little aileron flap thing. And then at that point, my plan is to go through the instructions and recheck off or initial every step that the person I bought the plane from did. So I get visual confirmation and for insurance purposes and for the FAA inspection purposes that I've checked everything that the person before me built and I feel comfortable putting my family in this plane and moving forward from that point. So that's gonna be a while. But for right now, again, it's really hot in Texas. 
it's really hot in my garage. I kind of wish I built air conditioning into my garage four years ago when we built the house, but I might be adding an air conditioning unit. We'll see. For now, I just wanted to let everyone know just kind of where I'm at and what my process is. And please, you know, if you felt the same way and you made it work out, or if you felt the same way and you didn't make it work out, do you think I should just stick with the 182 and sell this uh, RV10 before I even get started on it? Should I kind of just see how I feel and start working on it? And there'll always be a market for it. Um, just let me know your thoughts. But anyways, I think the next video you see will be the toolkit. Have an amazing one. Bye-bye.